The Bible says, train a child in the way that he or she should go, and when they're old, they will not depart. But how come it doesn't seem to always work? Maybe because that's not what it says. You can go. You can have two or three or four children in the same household and one of those children might go astray and you're wondering, wait a second, I've done everything that I'm supposed to do. Why did that child go astray? Even better yet, why when God, who's the better parent of all, he's the, he's the greatest parent of all time, how is it that even the children of Israel under his parenting went astray? Well, here's the answer. Because Proverbs 22, 6 doesn't say what our Bible says. That sounds a little bit blasphemous. That sounds like those Hebrew texts. So let's see what the passage says in Hebrew, and then maybe we'll see exactly what God's word says. And let's see then if it works at 100%. Because right now, if we follow it how it says in the English, that doesn't seem to work 100% of the time. It cannot be that God is not always 100% right. So let's see what it says. The Hebrew text does not have the word in the way that he should go. Rather what it says, and granted I know that many of you don't know Hebrew, but what it actually says is alpi derko, which means upon the mouth of his way. That sounds odd. I've never heard that. It is a Hebrew idiom where we get the construction according to his way. What it means is this, according to his bent or how the child is. Now the problem with that is we mistake the first part train to be a uh, command, but it's not a command. What it actually is, is it's a warning. If you train a child according to his bent, according to his nature, then when he's old, he won't depart. Say for example, you've got a child, maybe he's five, maybe she's 10, 15, what have you, and this child is messy or the child has a bad attitude, the child is stubborn, whatever. If you train that child, allowing him to move according to that bent, allow him to remain selfish, remain messy, remain whatever, when he's old, if he's a five-year-old kid who's messy, he'll be a 15-year-old kid, and a 25 and a 35 and a 55 and a 65-year-old kid who's messy. If he's got a bad attitude, if he's selfish, at six, He'll, have a, he'll be selfish at 16, 46, and 86. So now, in light of what it actually says, now it makes sense, and now we see that God's word doesn't fail. If you train a child in his natural nature, and remember, we all have a natural sin nature, so if little Bobby, little Susie, continues to grow and develop with that natural sin nature, when he is old, he will not depart. 